Y'all know the song by heavy burden. Symphony, the chorus is just, he touched me. And now I am no longer the same. The reason why you can say you're no longer the same because in your thought process, you were thinking about his touch. This young man, this young man, even though he knew it was against the ceremonial law, the little bit of law taught that you could not even come close to him. All he would kept saying was, even when my mother and my father forsook me, Jesus was right there beside me. Lean over to your neighbor and tell him cheerfully, neighbor, I can understand. I've been by myself. But thanks be to God. Uh, he touched me. And I'm getting out of here now. But the last one talks about a touch from the master. What it does is it liberates us from whatever uh, in we may be in. The word liberates means that uh, it Freeze us. Is there anybody praying in there? The word liberate means that uh, it uh, unbinds us. Whatever the devil has binded your mind with. The reason why you cannot lift up your holy hands is because of whatever condition the devil may have thrown at you. But uh, all you need today is just a touch from the Lord. And, uh, and uh, he will make everything all right. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, all I need today is a touch from the law. What the touch does, uh, he, he'll touch you where you are. Uh, and the one thing I like about the Lord, uh, he will not leave you uh, where he first touched you at. <laughs> Don't hang up on me right there. Because all he's saying is uh, that I'm accepting you uh, where you are on the grounds of who you are. But once I touch you, it's going to change your identity and it's going to change your destiny. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, he changed my identity, then he changed my destiny. All it took was just one touch from the master. When he touched the boy, he changed his identity. Well, let me help you out right there. Up to this point, everybody knew the man as a leper. Everybody associated his identity with his condition. But when God gets rid of your condition, he cannot but help her. But to erase your identity. Is there anybody here? Here's what I'm trying to tell you. That everybody in here used to be an ex something. Some of you were ex-alcoholics. Some of us are ex-homongers. Some of us are ex-drug diggers. Some of us are ex-prisoners. But when the Lord touches you your life cannot be the same look at your neighbor and say neighbor he touched me and 
now. He changed my identity. But come a little closer. Now. Not only does he change your identity, but he also changed your destiny. I don't know where you are heading. Well, I guess I do know. Before the hand of the Lord touch you, you are on your way to shallow. You are on your way to God. You are on your way to hell. But when the Lord laid his hands on you, you gave up hell for heaven. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm changing my identity. I'm changing my destiny. I'm praying for the Lord to lay his hands on me. Is there anybody here need the Lord to lay his hands on them? Lean over to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, I need the Lord to lay his hands on me. I want it down, not up. I need the Lord to lay his hands on my situation. Well, I got to get out of here. But the text says he touched me. When I looked at it in the Greek, it suggests that Jesus did something supernatural. He did something uh, that nobody else could do. Uh, he stretched forth uh, his hands uh, and he touched uh, the man. Uh, the touch means uh, he touched him, uh, number one, with sympathy. Uh, and then number two, uh, with empathy. Uh, there's a difference uh, between sympathy uh, and empathy. Uh, sympathy uh, is to look down at the man and put yourself in the man's shoes and feel the loneliness and feel the brokenness and feel the isolation but it's another thing to look at the man and feel all of that and then reach out and actually help the man look at your neighbor and say neighbor I serve a God that just don't look at my situation, but he shows up in my situation. Is there anybody here want to praise the Lord for showing up in your situation? He may not have showed up when you wanted him to show up, but thanks be to God, he showed up. And when he show up, he will show out. Is there anybody here want to praise God for touching you? That's all I got to tell you. The Bible says he touched him. He was moved with compassion. And then he cleansed them. The word cleanse means he restored him. Back to his normal form. Is there anybody here where the devil has messed with you? He's deduced you. He's diluted you. He's reduced you. But all you need is a touch from the Lord. And a touch from the Lord will make everything all right. Good evening. Christian United, thank you for sitting patiently, but my praise is not for you. You didn't touch me, but I owe God a praise in here. It was God that touched me. It was God that reached way down and picked me up. Is there anybody here want to praise him for his touch? Say yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I know he's all right. 
and the Lord all right. If you got a praise in here because he's touched you, you know you were untouchable. I dare you to praise him in here. I dare you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I owe the Lord a praise in here. Is there anybody here know is there anybody here trying him? Is there anybody know he's away out of no way? Is there anybody here know he's clothes for you, food for you, shelter for you? Is there anybody know him as the Holy Spirit? Won't he walk with you? Won't he talk with you? Won't he lead you? Won't he guide you? Is there anybody here him as a person that know him as a person of the Holy Spirit? Won't he keep you? Won't he hold you? in your hand look at your neighbor and say neighbor I don't know what's going on but I know I need a touch from the Lord look at another neighbor say neighbor I need the Lord to touch me now if you really need the Lord to touch your situation I dare you in here to stand on your feet and throw your hands up in the air and say Lord Lord, Lord, I need a touch. Is there anybody here need a touch? Say, I need a touch. Come on, stand to your feet. He wants to touch you today. He, Jesus, the Christ, the Holy Spirit, wants to touch you today. He wants to touch you. As a matter of fact, the Holy Spirit has already touched you because that's him that is putting those thoughts in your head right now. Thoughts of just coming to the altar, just falling down at the altar, just surrendering your life to him. But well, he's here to do something that nobody else will do, could do, or even wanted to do. He want to stop the pain. He want to stop the hurt. He want to bring miracles and deliverance and healing to your situation. But all you got to do is just hold up your hand. When it says he put forth his hand, watch this. The reason why he could put forth his hand is because he already saw the individual reaching out to him. I dare you in here to reach out to him today. I dare you to just reach out by faith. You might already be saved, but you have a situation that can't nobody fix but Jesus. If you reach, he'll reach and he'll fix your situation. Are oh, you here? You ought to come. If you're here, you ought to come. If you're here, you ought to come. You're here. You ought to come. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Come on. 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 Whether you're coming. Falling in love for salvation, with coming for deliverance, coming for healing, coming for prayer. Falling you ought to just come. You ought to just come. Because there are some struggles. There are some strains that you're trying to handle all of your own. You cannot do it. You need to touch your situation. 
Will there be another one today? Will there be another one today? to understand that there is a spirit of brokenness in this place. The Lord is, will have you to simply know that he's getting ready to flip it. He's getting ready to change this thing for you. You, you got to trust him by faith. That it is God that has God's hand on the situation. See, the reason, why, the reason why it's been such a struggle for you because you've had your hands on the situation. Can I be real with you? There's some stuff your hands can't handle. There's some stuff your little minute power can't fix. I know your mind is in the right place. Your mind is saying, I'm giving it up. Your mind is saying, I can handle it. Your mind is saying, your mind, your mind, your mind. But the Spirit of God is saying he wants to take total control of the situation. And I'm here to tell you, if I was you, i surrender and i will submit to Jesus the Christ and say, Lord, I'm yours. Lord, I'm yours. Lord, Lord, Lord I'm yours. I'm yours. You just, you just fix it. You just fix it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh God, oh God. 